Hey friends, you know, Azure Arc simplifies governance and management by delivering a consistent multi-cloud and on-premises management platform. Lior is here to show me how it enables you to do cool things like apply GitOps uh, configurations on Arc-enabled Kubernetes clusters, wherever they may be from Azure. I'm going to learn how today on Azure Friday. Hey friends, I'm Scott Hanselman and it's Azure Friday. I'm here to learn all about Azure Arc and specifically how you can manage your Kubernetes with GitOps. I'm here with Lior, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Happy uh, Friday the 13th for you. Indeed, this is going to be lucky. It's going to make all of our demos work brilliantly. That's when things right. go really well on Friday the 13th. Right. So tell me about Azure Arc. Why are people so excited about it? Well. If you think about it, what's what was really missing, I think, in the hybrid story is the fact that there was no real story around stretching a control plane, right? And if we have Azure Resource Manager, which is our control plane, or you know, if you made the operating system of Azure, what we're doing with that is we're stretching it um, outside the boundaries of Azure. And with Azure Arc, we are able, specifically with Azure Arc enabled Kubernetes, we are able to stretch the control plane and actually get access to Kubernetes clusters that are, de that are deployed outside of Azure. And by doing so, we are able to do some cool things, which is what we're going to show today. Uh, part of it is GitOps, you know, policy monitoring. Um, so really, it's about reaching outside of Azure and projecting resources as first class citizens inside Azure. That's really interesting, that, that term projecting resources, right? Because uh, right. I've had folks on to talk about the Azure Stack Edge, which is a physical machine, but when you go into the Azure portal, it shows up there. So it's, it, it is Azure. So these resources that you're going to be showing us don't live in Azure. They're not running on Azure hardware, but they're in Azure because they're projected into that space. Right, and it's really about reaching out to platforms that until now we didn't have any access to that because if you think about Azure Stack, it's you know it's an Azure product, it's controlled by us, all the APIs is something that we are governing. Mm -hmm. But now the challenge is how do you actually approach these different APIs on different platforms, different infrastructure, and actually being able to do something about that. So that's really what's cool about that. Very cool. And you brought me a demo, of course. Yeah. Yeah, so um, today uh, what we're going to show is how we are using GitOps, which is a very great approach to governing your applications and cluster configuration. I'll talk about that. And how do you use that against clusters, Kubernetes clusters that are deployed outside of Azure? So if you think about it, right, you have multiple clusters spread across the board, right? They can, they can be in different countries, different continent, right? But you want to have one place that you can manage those but it's not really about managing just the cluster. It's also about the applications, right? Because this is, you know, at the end of the day, what's driving the business. So what we're going to show, we're going to show three clusters um, that are deployed outside of Azure. And then we're going to do a real-time update on an application, a web application in, that is deployed on all three clusters. And we're going to see that real-time. So oh, let's do it. Uh, to start the demo, you can see here in my Azure portal, I have three Arc enabled clusters, right? So these are represented as Kubernetes Azure Arc. And those clusters are coming from a GKE cluster, a Raspberry Pi cluster, and a VMware cluster deployed with Rancher K3S. So you can see already um, the, the spaghetti of platforms infra infrastructure that we're going to touch, right? So the first cluster is the Arc GKE one. And to show you that this is really a demo about resources that are outside of Azure, I'll zoom in it a bit, right? You can see that this is an Arc GKE demo. It's deployed on on a, on the Kubernetes, oh, sorry, on Google uh, platform. And this one is a Raspberry Pi cluster deployed with Rancher K3S. And I know that you're a big uh, geek like me when it comes to hardware. So I have this right here, and this is actually the cluster. It's a disconnected one, but I have another one deployed um, in my garage, which is what we're going to demo, I guess. So if you can see that, this is kind of the prototype for that. Um, so I hope you can see that. That is great. Um, That's a beautiful yeah. case. So that is a that is a little piece of Azure right there. You've actually taken six Raspberry Pis, yeah. installed Kubernetes on them, put them in a case, and now you have a tiny cloud. Yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. And this is what we're going to abuse in a second here. <laughs> um, so um, to show you that this is actually a Raspberry Pi cluster, because we are, you know, when we're talking about Azure Arc, uh, one of the biggest use cases is the edge, right, and low power devices. So to show you that this is actually, um, you know, um, a cluster that that is deployed on Raspberry Pi, I'm going to open here my terminal here and just do a quick kubectl get nodes. 
And you can see that this is a six node um, cluster, right? Um, sorry, a seven node cluster, including the control plane. And to take it one step further, I'm going to SSH to it. And I'm going to run this uname command. To show you that this is actually an ARM CPU cluster, right? So it is a Raspberry Pi cluster. Uh -huh. So we'll minimize that. And the third cluster is a K3S, again, Rancher cluster that is deployed on top of VMware. So again, a different platform, on-premises platform, right, that has a single virtual machine that has Kubernetes cluster, a single node Kubernetes cluster that is deployed on top of that. And if I'll zoom into that, um, to that virtual machine, right, you'll be able to see that the 172.16.10.61 IP, which will come later on in this demo. Right, so just, this I is kind of the layout make... of the... Sorry? I was just going to say, uh, just to make sure the folks who are listening, they are maybe familiar with Kubernetes that they've heard of as being K and then number 8S. You've been saying K3S, right. which is a lighter weight, smaller Kubernetes for devices like this, right? Right, right. And a lot of, you know, a lot of these IoT and um, edge scenarios are required, maybe a lower footprint Kubernetes um, distributions. And Rancher did a great job on, on you know, creating one. So that's what we'd be using um, you know, in this demo. Okay. So um, I'll go back to Azure here. And we talked about GitOps, right? And how is that being translated in the world of Azure Arc enabled Kubernetes? So I'll click on one of the clusters. And this is actually something that you will see on all clusters. So we just picked the GKE one. Um, and you can see here under configuration, I have a couple of configurations. And those are the GitOps configuration that we are making approachable and easy to deploy as part of ARC enabled clusters, right? So once you have this cluster onboarded and projected as an ARC resource, you can deploy GitOps configuration. Now, one thing off the back, right, that you notice is that there are a couple of configuration here or a couple of operator scop scopes that we're deploying. So to explain, you know, for the viewers that don't know what GitOps is all about, so in a nutshell, GitOps is really a process or methodology to use Git repositories as your source of truth for a desired state configuration for your application or a cluster configuration, right? So if you think about the situation when you are deploying, um, you know, hundreds of Kubernetes clusters, and then you are making a change to your ingress controller, for example, you want that change to be applied on all these clusters. But how do you do that in a fleet management manner? That's, that's the challenge. And what Azure Arc does, it's basically make that approachable. So what we have here is we have a couple of config configurations. You can see here um, a cluster configuration and a namespace configuration. Let's talk about that for one second. Cluster configuration really talks about how do you govern the cluster configuration literally. So let's say you have service meshes or, um, or security applications or ingress controllers, right? Like we have in this cluster. And how do you make changes horizontal changes across the board on all clusters. So this is where you're going to use the cluster scope. And the namespace is really where the application kicks in, right? So you're deploying applications against Kubernetes namespaces, and this is why we have the, the operator scope for a namespace. Now, I'll zoom in to, um, you know, to one of the configurations, and let's talk about it before we're actually going to make the change, right, and see how that change is being done real time. What we're doing with Azure Arc enabled Kubernetes and GitOps, we're actually leveraging another open source project, which is called Flux, coming from Weaveworks. And Flux is a Kubernetes operator that's responsible for creating this handshake between your cluster and the Git repository that you are using for your applications, right? And the Flux also has another operator, which is the Flux Helm operator. So, you know, Helm is kind of the de facto standard for package management for Kubernetes applications, and we're leveraging that as well. So what we're doing is we're listening with the Flex operator, we are listening to a Git repository, and then we're gonna make a change to that Git repository and see what's that all about. If you look at the um, at the operator parameters here, one thing to notice is the path, right? And you can see here releases and prod. So I'll go here to my uh, to my demo application, and uh, first of all, let's uh, let's see kind of the uh, the repository. This is a repository we call it a low arc demo application, right? It's a simple Node.js web application that is deployed on all the clusters. The interesting part about um, the this web application is if I'll go here to releases, 
we'll be able to see the Nginx and the prod releases. And if you remember from the previous screen, I showed you that there is releases and then prod. So what we're doing with the Flex operator and Azure Arc enabled Kubernetes is basically handshaking with Helm, rele Helm release um, CRD that um, basically act as a proxy to the actual YAML files and Helm package, right? That is responsible for deploying the actual application, right? So it's really about simplifying that process that all we need to do is to talk to the Helm release. So here in that Helm release, you can see it's a, it's a straightforward YAML file that has um, the release name, um, the repository that we are at right now, replica accounts, and the message uh, and the message that we are seeing. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a change on that. I'll uh, minimize the screen here and to show the viewers um, how that change is um, actually translated in real time. So what is it that we're seeing here? On the top of the screen, you see the web application that we just showed. Uh, deployed on all three clusters, right? Remember the Raspberry Pi deployed with uh, Rancher K3S. We have a GKE cluster in the middle, and we also have the Rancher K3S deployed on a single virtual machine, a VMware single virtual machine, right? On the bottom, what we have is we have the terminal that actually looking at those clusters, and specifically what we're going to do is we're going to listen to the prod namespace. And the prod namespace is where the, app, the, the web application that we're seeing is actually deployed, right? So let's go ahead and listen to that, uh, to that prod namespace um, on all three clusters. And you can see that um, here we have the um, prod Helm operator, which is the one that um, I mentioned before. This is the operator that's responsible for actually listening to the Git repository and asking the Git repository, hey, uh, are you seeing any changes? Are you seeing any changes? And at the moment that he will see that there's actually a change, it will go ahead and do a rolling update for the application that is deployed on the Kubernetes cluster, right? So. Right now, we have this application deployed on all three cluster, and we have a single replica, which is basically no replicas in the world of Kubernetes, right? So let's go ahead and make a change and see how does that fit into um, the rolling update and the um, and the um, kind of auto update process and the entire GitOps flow. One thing you notice is that the screen is flicking, and there is a reason why is that. What I did is I have an extension here that basically does a refresh every two seconds for each and every one of these browsers, because that way we'll be able to see the uh, change coming in real time. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll go back to the um, to my Hello Arc um, uh, repository. And what we're going to do here, we're going to change the message, and we're going to change the number of replicas and see what's going on. Right. So the first thing is I'm going to do, I'm going to change the number of replicas to three. Right. And here I'm going to change the message to hello, Azure Friday. And now I'm going to commit the change. Now, obviously, in a production environment, you're going to have a, maybe a more thorough process on how those changes are being made. But what we want to show really is we want to show the GitOps flow, right? So I'm going to commit those changes uh, right here and quickly minimize the window. And let's see what's happening. You can already see. On the on the bottom, that pods are starting to spin up, right? And in a second here, you're going to see the application update at real time on the top, right? So what you're seeing is we're seeing the flux operator actually doing its thing, listening to the Git repository, seeing that there is a change, and now you can see the application is starting to uh, to change. Now the reason that you're seeing the message bouncing between the new one and the old one because if you remember, we also changed the number of replicas. So the Nginx, the load balancer that is deployed on the cluster, on the cluster, is also actually doing its thing, right? It's bouncing and load balancing between the new pods that now gets deployed, right? So this is what's happening, and you can see that um, the VMware one already updated. We can see the GKE one already updated, and also the Raspberry Pi. So you can see three different platforms, three different types of infrastructure, and the same application got updated at real time. And the last thing to notice is that you can see here that the pods name are actually changing, right? Because remember, from zero replicas or one replica, we change it to three replicas, right? So if I'll kind of make uh, make the screen here a bit cleaner, you can see now that we have three replicas of this application, and this is what actually going to be on all three clusters. So what we did here is basically um, kind of 
show a GitOps flow, end-to-end GitOps flow on three different platforms using Azure Arc enabled Kubernetes. And this is really uh, the demo. The last, uh, you know, the last piece of, of that is, you know, we always getting asked how to do these kind of demos, how to do these kind of configurations. And what we did is we created an open source project a few months back, which called the Azure Arc Jumpstart. And I'll switch back to my uh, to my full screen uh, browser here and into the Jumpstart repository. So the Jumpstart repository is really about taking all the Arc scenarios that we can think of when it comes to Azure Arc enabled servers, Azure Arc enabled Kubernetes, SQL Server, data services, right? Azure Arc has many pillars and more to come. But what we wanted to do is we wanted to make that very approachable. We wanted to make sure that you have a good experience, kind of, you know, a zero to hero experience that you can start actually try out Azure Arc. But the real challenge with this is because Azure Arc touches by definition, everything that is outside of Azure and projected into Azure, we wanted to provide a way for, um, you know, for our customers, for people that really don't know um, a lot about other platforms outside of Azure, but really wants to start taking advantage of Azure Arc. What we did is we created those jumpstart scenarios, and today we already have 50 plus scenarios. And those jumpstart scenarios are here in this repository. We take you by the hand and tell you a bit about Azure Arc, how you can use, how you can use it. What is it that you're supposed to do with that, right? But the real meat around the bone is these scenarios that you can see here, right? So you can see we are actually covering all the major cloud providers and all the major infrastructure providers and providing them with an automated way to deploy Arc environments, start doing the demo, start uh, doing POCs, right? Start actually getting their hands dirty when it comes to uh, when it comes to Azure Arc, right? And the demo that I just showed you, right? If I scroll here, scroll here to Azure Arc enabled Kubernetes, you can see here, for example, this is what I use to deploy the cluster that I just showed you. And here we also have day two scenarios and use cases, right? So we're not just showing you how to do the bootstrap of the environment. We're actually taking you by the hand and showing you what is it that you can do and how you can get that automated so you can quickly spin up the environment and do that over and over again, right? So here's, for example, the uh, the GitOps demo that I just did. It's here, part of the, you know, part of the uh, uh, part of the repository, takes you by the hand with screenshot, with code samples, with all the automation that is needed in order for you to actually get going. So that's the Jumpstart repository and we have more to come. Fantastic, that is a really, impressive demo like that when we and we sometimes i think even the word demo isn't big enough for demos like that because that's all real you know what i mean like you could have filmed all that but you've got a real raspberry pi uh cluster you've got i mean when was the last time we had google cloud on azure friday you know what i mean that was exactly exactly and, and, and this is the real magic you know this is really the the real magic when it comes to azure arc enabled servers, Kubernetes, you know, data services is stretching, you know, and really taking the notion of hybrid cloud to the next level. This is really the jelloing for Azure for uh, for hybrid cloud because it really touches the software layer and not just the infrastructure layer. It's really jelloing those together. Fantastic. I am learning all about Azure Arc enabled Kubernetes with GitOps today on Azure Friday. Hey, thanks for watching this episode of Azure Friday. Now I need you to like it, comment on it, tell your friends, retweet it, watch more Azure Friday.